Hey guys, so I'm a little off, off, <laughs> um, but that's because today I'm going to be filming my empties video and I have a lot, so this might be longer than your average empties video, so I'm not going to make this intro any longer than it has to be and I'm just going to dive right in. So first thing I have to show you is this giant thing of the Downy Unstoppables in wash scent booster in the scent fresh i got this from bj's uh and it smells so good and it made my laundry smell amazing sorry if i sound stuffy i've been sick but i've i loved these and i have repurchased like the smaller bottles that you get at normal stores but i do want to go back to bj's and get more um i also used up some i also used up my clorox feet free and clear free of dyes and perfumes bleach for my laundry i wear whites sometimes and i have white washcloths that i use to take off my face at the end of the night and this just helps keep them nice and clean and white um i went through um pledge multi-surface wipes this is a package of 25 and it smells like citrus and I absolutely love these. They work amazingly for last minute cleanups. Um, next, I have um, some of Adam's body wash. This is the Old Spice Timber body wash. Um, is this the one I like? No. Um, well, I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite. My favorite for him is the Aqua Reef. That's my favorite. Um... But yeah, this is just one that he got for Christmas that he finally used up. Um, mascara I used up is the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. I didn't really like this, but um, as I have mentioned in past uh, empties videos, I actually, I don't know if I mentioned it in a past empties video. Um, I attempted to mention it in a past empties video and then all the footage got corrupted and deleted. Um, I actually save the mascara wands, I clean them off, and I donate them to, um, an organization that uses them to clean, um, abandoned animals, um, so, um, yeah. Um, another thing I've used up is the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream and Raspberry Mist. This used to be my absolute favorite shave cream until I discovered the Skid to Mint shave cream. So I'm just going through my back stock of these and then continuing with my Skin to Mint. So yeah. Actually, is this recyclable? Not sure. It's not saying it is, so I'm going to say no. Um, I use stuff, um, some more razor blades. I use the Gillette Fusion um, men's razor because it sh gives me a closer shave than women's razors do. And this is just a four pack of razor blades that I used up. Um, in case you don't know, Adam and I have four rats now. So um, we had originally bought these fold to fit habitat liners for them, but they like the first time we used it on them, they pretty much completely destroyed it. So we actually used it to line our birds' cages. Um, there was seven in there, and it was kind of expensive for seven, so I don't see us purchasing it again when we get newspaper for free. Um, normally, I don't show food or animal food in my empties videos, but I needed to show this because it was a snack that we had gotten for our rats, and our rats went through it in two days. Um, it is the Tropical Carnival Foraging Treat Select Seeds Treat, and it has um, sunflower seeds, pumpkin sweet seeds, squash seeds, cantaloupe seeds, and watermelon seeds. Um, and they just went through this, like, so fast, it's not even funny. Um, so I would highly recommend it for any of you that have rats. <coughs> Um, I went through this little thing of Gain Dryer Sheets. I just got this one at the dollar store because I wanted to try out dryer sheets again before I committed to a full-size box. And I absolutely love these. So I got um, a two-pack 
um, box thing at BJ's and I absolutely love them. So I have repurchased these. Um, I went through a Scope mouthwash. Um, it was okay. It's not my favorite. I really prefer Crest, the alcohol-free. And actually dentists prefer alcohol-free as well. Um, but it was cheap and it was ginormous and it was okay. Would I get it again in a pinch? Probably. Um, I went through um, the Airborne Original Chewable Vitamin C Tablets. I need to have more vitamin C in my life because I get sick all the time. And this is in the citrus flavor, so I went through that. Um, Adam and I also went through a thing of Robitussin because when we had mono, we were like dying. Um, get this out of the way because this is huge. Um, I went through Clorox um, stain remover and color booster bleach. So this is just color safe bleach. Uh, it works really good. I prefer the ones without dyes though. This had like a blue dye to it. I prefer ones without dyes. So I repurchased the one without dyes and not this one. <laughs> My recycle bin's so full already and I'm not even halfway through. Um, I went through a travel size of the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes. I had bought these for Grand Assembly just to have a small package with me. And I just finished them off by like wiping my makeup desk down and stuff like that. So I really enjoy these. I have purchased full size of these in the past. Um, I might repurchase full size in the future, but I'm not positive yet. Just because I know I can get the simple ones um, at BJ's for three for like the price of two. By the way, if you're wondering what my lipstick is today, is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yeah, it's the Katsu Liquid Lipstick from Wet n Wild and Give Me Mocha. Like I said, I'm gonna wear every shade before I do my full on review on them. So that's just another shade. Um, I went through the LDN Research Lab Arthritis and Support Penetrating Heat Rub. I put this in my bath. It's really been helping me um, because I started working another job. Um, so I now work two jobs. Birds are being a little loud, I apologize, but so when I work two jobs, my legs just kill me the next day, so this has really been helping. Um, let's see, so I went through a shampoo and conditioner. This is the Organics Repairing Awapui Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. I really, really enjoyed these. Now, because that's shut, the lighting's a little weird. There we go. Oh, no. Is that better? Okay, that's a little better. Um, these are really, really good, and I would recommend them. And they're from the drugstore, so they're cheaper. Um, but they're sulfate-free. Um, I want to say they're also paraben-free. I'm not positive, though. Don't quote me on that. But it is more of a organic brand, so I would recommend these. Um, just be careful when it comes to the lids because... Um, the little stopper will come out. Um, I went through a package of the Simple Micellar Makeup Remover Wipes. These were fantastic, and I would definitely purchase these again. Um, let's see. I went through a Better Life uh, um, All-Purpose Cleaner, also known as Better Life Whatever. Um, cleaner, you can use it anywhere, and it's just a lot healthier to use this to clean so I really enjoyed this this was a suggestion from April Athena 7 <coughs> excuse me um, and I just love her channel so when she kept recommending this I figured I would give it a shot and I love it and I will I bought a two pack I'm on the second one now and I will repurchase um, Adam went through one of his Old Spice Desperado 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioners. Um, he really likes this shampoo and conditioner. And it literally just makes me smell of my... The smell literally just makes me think of my husband, so I love it. Holy crap. It's, it's literally full and I'm not even done yet. Um, I went through the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. This um, reminds me a lot of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. 
So, um, I really enjoyed this. But if you look at the, um, wand, the ball on the end is huge compared to the one on the Benefit mascara. So, I don't think I'll repurchase this because of that. Um, I would just rather buy the Benefit one again, which I have. Um, I went through um, Lux by Mr. Bubble Powder Bubbles. Um, really, really liked it. So, yeah, I don't think this is recyclable. So, um, Adam and I also went through some NyQuil while we were sick. We were sick for a hot minute, guys. Um, I went through another one of my deep clean invigorating foaming scrubs from Neutrogena. As you know, this is my absolute favorite um, face scrub. And I have repurchased and I will continue to repurchase. Ooh, that fell out. That's okay. Um, I went through the Spa Soap Milk and Honey Cream Soap Refill. This is just for the soap in my bathroom. I really enjoy it. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get some good stuff at the Dollar Tree, let me tell you. Um, I went through a candle, and it doesn't look like I went through it, but if you look, I went through it, and this is just as far as down as it will burn. This is the Mainstays Pumpkin Spice Candle. I really, really like it, and I would repurchase it if they come back with it this year, even though it burned kind of weird. Um... I went through an Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist. Um, I bought this in a 2-pack, so I have the other one in my shower right now. I really like this, and I have and will continue to repurchase. Um, I went through some more Alme Makeup Eraser Sticks. You guys know I love these. I have yet to repurchase them. I'm having a hard time finding them now, but I will repurchase as soon as I find. So hopefully I'll be able to find those soon. Um... This got me really excited. I went through a 500 count of cotton swabs from Walmart, so that makes me happy. I feel like cotton swabs are very hard to go through. Um, I went through another travel pack of makeup wipes. This is just the Equate brand. Um, these really bothered my eyes, so I just used them to clean up my makeup desk, and yeah. Um... I went through the Body and Earth Element Sweet Pomegranate Bubble Bath. I loved this, but I loved the scent of it. The bubbles disappeared in two seconds flat, so I would not repurchase that. Um, I went through a Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser with 10% Benzoyl Peroxide. This used to be my favorite, 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 favorite acne cleanser, but it kind of stopped working for me probably because my skin got too used to it. So I have switched it out. Um, after my skin doesn't get used to it, I might go back to it. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I went through my eyelash curler. It's just, it's done. It's, I don't know if you can see. Probably not. But it started pulling out my eyelashes. So it's just time for a new one. I've had this one since I first started getting into makeup. So it's probably about time that I switch it out anyway. Um, I went through a Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spot Corrector. I think this is pretty good. I think it's helped me a lot. I have two backups. I bought it in a three pack. So that's really exciting. I think that's trash to me though. Um... I went through the N Spa Real Fruit Goodness Exotically Creamy Coconut Body Wash. I checked the ingredients. Coconut's actually not in here, so I was able to use this. And the scent was really nice. It was really coconutty. Um, but even if it did have coconut, I'm finding that as long as I use, if I were to use it, as long as coconut's near the bottom of the ginormous ingredient list, I'm okay because that means there's barely any in there. So, yeah. Um, I really liked this. I would repurchase it, but I don't think this brand even exists anymore other than on Amazon. Um, I also got the, used up the End Spa with Real Fruit Bits Exotically Creamy Coconut Daily Refresh Shower Scrub. This one didn't have, um, coconut in it either. It actually had walnuts in it, so 
I think it was just like a scent thing and the scent was really good. And when I was using those, I was using um, the Body Shop Coconut um, Body Butter. This was really nice. This one does have coconut in it. But like I said, it was very, very close to the end of the ingredients list. So I was able to use it very well. It didn't break me out or anything. So that was good. Um, I used up a Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Body Building Dry Shampoo. I absolutely adored this. Um, if you remember in one of my previous videos, I used the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak, which had the green. <coughs> Excuse me and not the purple and I liked how it worked but I hated the smell this is literally the same thing just with a different scent and I love this scent so much and I would totally repurchase that again um let's see let's see let's see I'm trying to like save my samples and stuff for the end um Adam went through an Old Spice Timber deodorant um, I went through an e.l.f. foundation serum. I've already repurchased it. This is in the shade light. I think now I have it in fair light. Um, but I really liked this, so already repurchased. Um, I went through a, ooh, another, um, Assured RX Feminine Wash. Really like this. Already repurchased it. What was that? I don't even know. Um, I went through a brush. I, it just started feeling bad, so I decided to get rid of it. I went through a Colgate Total Advanced um, Toothpaste. Um, I'm not too picky about toothpaste. I'll just kind of get whatever's on sale. I went through my Naked Bee Moisturizing Hand and Body Lotion in Orange Blossom Honey. 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 I absolutely love this and I do plan on repurchasing, but I have so many creams to go through right now that it's not really necessary. I went through an e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Absolutely love this. Will repurchase. I went through an Alme Sensitive Skin Antiperspirant and Deodorant. It's fragrance free. Um, I really liked this while I was using it, but I have switched to all natural deodorants. That way I can still have a scent and I'm not smelling all the time, um, but I'm not having bad reactions. Um, I went through my L'Oreal um, Age Perfect Cell Renewal. Um, golden serum as you can see there's still some like on the side but I literally cannot get it out so I just decided to throw it in the empties and call it quits um next time I need to bring that trash bag barrel in here too um I used up the Sephora Lotus Eye Mask I thought this was fantastic and I would definitely repurchase um I went through the Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for Feet and Legs. Um, it was minty, it, but it wasn't as like thick and moisturizing as my Gold Bond one, and I really, really like that one. So I don't think I will repurchase that. Um, let's see, let's see. I went through a Soft Lips Cube. Um, very proud of myself for that. Actually, no, that would be trash. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I went through the Natural White Sensitive Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. Actually, that makes me think that would be in trash too. Um, this is just from the dollar store. It's really good if you have sensitive teeth, and I would recommend it to anyone. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I went through the... I want to say this is April. Um, Flower Garden's... Flower Garden Scented Hand Cream. This is pretty good, um, but it's not the best hand cream, so I'm just trying to use up all the ones from this line and get rid of them because I still have three more. Um, I went through the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Super good. Will be repurchasing that. Um, I used up a cognac sponge. You just know when these. It, it's time for those to go. 
Um, Adam used up a mini Sweat Defense Old Spice Pure Sport Plus Deodorant. Loved it. He loves the Old Spice stuff. Um, I went through a Benefit There Real Mascara. As you know, this is my Holy Grail Mascara. And I have already repurchased. This was a repurchase, and I've repurchased it again. So I love that. Um, I went through an Aqua 4 Lip Repair Immediate Relief um, Lip Balm. Really good lip balm. So, yeah. Um... I went through the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. This took me forever to use up, but it is 100% gone. I'm really excited about that. Um, I went through a Pocket Pack in Frosted Cranberry. I absolutely love that. I went through my e.l.f. Hydrating Serum. I did not repurchase this. Um, just because I am experimenting with higher end um, skincare, so um, yeah. <laughs> um, I used up um a Victoria's Secret bath bomb. Meh. It was, it's really floor scenty, but it really does nothing. I used up some Swispers Cotton Rounds. These were okay. They weren't the best. Um, I went through the Chapstick Total Hydration Lip Balm. I literally went until I couldn't get anything more out. Um, and this was in Soothing Oasis. It was wicked good. I really liked it. I would repurchase. I also got, went through the Sun Bomb Pomegranate with SPF 30. Um, this went on really smooth and it smelled really good, but it actually dried out my lips, so I would not repurchase this. Um, I also went through a Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean. Love Burt's Bees. I have more and I will continue to repurchase. So now I think I'm just down to my travel size items and my samples, so I'll run through those. I went through a mini Crest Pro Health Alcohol Free Mouthwash. I bought this for Grand Assembly. Went through it, used it, loved it. I went through two samples of the Benefit Professional. Um, I got this when I was shopping at Sephora and I did like it. And I do have, um, there we go another sample that I'm going through right now and then maybe after that I might end up buying the full size we'll have to see we'll have to see um I went through the Nexus um therapy replenishing system shampoo and the Humectris replenishing system conditioner um I've said in past videos how much I love this conditioner the shampoo was okay but the smell really got to me so I wouldn't necessarily repurchase the shampoo again but I totally would the conditioner um I went through a mini of the clean and clear morning burst facial scrub I hated this will not repurchase I got it for grand assembly um I went through the origins ginseng refreshing scrub cleanser um I'm pretty sure I liked this um it was pretty exfoliating um but I'm not 100% positive if I would buy the full size. But I kind of miss it at the same time. So I, I really don't know. Um, I went through um, a L'Occitane shower oil. Um, almond shower oil. This was pretty good. It was very moisturizing. Um, and I really liked it while I had it. So I might, I might bite the bullet and get the full size. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's move this so I can see where to put stuff. Um, I went through a fresh soy face cleanser. Finished this up this morning, actually. I really like the scent of it. Um, I find it doesn't do anything that my Purity doesn't. So, I guess, like, if this is on sale and Purity isn't, I would get this. Um, I really liked the scent of it. So, I went through a 
Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Travel Size. I bought this for Grand Assembly and I just figured I'd use it up. I'm actually going through another um, Crest Travel Size right now that I got at Grand Assembly um, because they came in little goodie bags that we got and I figured I'd just use that up instead of letting it sit and go bad. Um, I went through this sample size of the Luxaton um, hand cream and this was super good. I really love this and I definitely want to buy the full size version of that. Um, I went through a sample of the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover Dissolving Spray. This was super good. It did bother my eyes a little bit um, but not nearly as bad as some other ones I've tried like the Neutrogena oil. Um, but it's definitely not as good as my Bosha. Um, but I would repurchase this in the future. Um, I went through a travel size of the Petite Dry Shampoo. Again, I bought this for Grand Assembly. And this is in the Fresh and Classic scent. Which I actually really liked the scent. Um, I love Batiste, so I have purchased big size of these. Um, I'm actually using one up right now. Um, this is in the wrong... Okay, um, I went through three samples of the Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser. I have purchased this full size. It is in my shower right now. I absolutely love it. Um, I went through a sample of the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I think I like this, but it was kind of hard to tell because this was literally enough for one mask. Um... I really like how my skin feels now after I've used it um, and I've noticed less texture so I think I will purchase the full size of that um, I went through an Urban Decay um, Sin primer and I went through an Urban Decay anti-aging primer potion these were both samples that I got with the Naked palette um, so yeah. Um, oh, I went through two sheet masks this month. Um, not this month, this time around. Normally I do more sheet masks, but I just haven't been feeling like masking lately. So they're both the facial essence masks. One is collagen with vitamin E and the other one's green tea and aloe. Super, super good. I went through a sample of the BB Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. My hair doesn't really need thickening, so this literally just made my hair feel ridiculous. Um, I do have one more sample that I will use up, but I will not repurchase these in full size. Um, I went through two samples of the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, and I absolutely love this, and I will buy full size once I can find it in store. Um, my Sephora does not have it in store, so... but love this would recommend highly um i went through the living proof no frizz nourishing styling cream um th i think this kind of worked i mean my hair i shower at night so i put it in my hair after i showered because it says to put in damp hair and the next morning my hair was still frizzy but i feel like it wasn't nearly as frizzy as it normally is so i I want to say it worked, but I would need to try it out more. So I'm thinking about maybe getting like a travel size before I bite the bullet and buy the full size. Um, I went through a sample size of the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I love this. I have another sample size and I have a travel size of this. And once all of those are gone, I will buy the full size because this is fantastic. I went through a sample of the Mario Badescu aloe moisturizer this was wicked thick and it was really mo moisturizing i would not use it on a day that i was going to wear makeup um just because that's how moisturized my skin was so it says for skin types combo oily and sensitive i would it was a lot for me with dry skin so i'd be really surprised if people with oily skin would like that and the last two things i went through are the sol de janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream samples or is it boom boom? I don't know. I've heard it said both ways Please let me know below if it's boom boom or bum bum 
um and i really like these and i will repurchase um the full size once i go through all of my lotions and that's everything now we have an empty box um so that's it for my empties today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will talk to you guys later bye